He selected to play in the tennis competition. Each of the athletes was seated before play began and a round robin system determined the two finalists in the tennis. In the semifinals, Joe Theismann on your left met John Havlicek. Although Havlicek played Theismann well enough to win, the younger Theismann finally defeated the retired Sully Great by a score of 6-4 to advance to the finals. In the other semifinal match, the pre-event favorite, Dwight Stones, played with speed and some rather unique strokes. But his opponent, Jim Taylor, proved the better player today and soundly beat Dwight in the semis by a score of 6-3. At the age of 43, Jim Taylor's agility on the tennis court underscores a pro career which many people will never forget. The LSU All-American was seven times an All-Pro with the Packers, and his election to the NFL Hall of Fame in 1976 remains Jim's most cherished achievement. When Jim is not playing tennis at home or riding his bicycle to stay in shape, the memories Jim has of his former boss at Green Bay, Vince Lombardi, tell us about the kind of man he is today. Lombardi expressed excellence, and he pushed you and drove you and, uh, and actually you know, made you what you were or, or inserted the, the drive into you, even though you, you, you yourself probably have that inner drive to a point, but he can push you beyond a point that you feel like that you can uh, go. And certainly, uh, he did that many, many times. But uh, I think the burning desire to, to excel and be the best in the business at your position. And you know your weaknesses, you know your strengths, and you work on your weaknesses. And it's just repetitious training. Uh, and it's very repetitious over and over and over. And this is, uh, this is what, what makes the best. Jim's playing days, of course, are gone now. But on the practice field of his 16-year-old son, Chip, Taylor will frequently watch and then comment upon the way the game is played today. Jim learned the game well under Vince Lombardi. He played it only one way, all out. He would run through you, he would run around you. Of course, the Packer philosophy was simple. Control the ball and you win games. Jim Taylor still believes in that Lombardi game plan. The concept or the philosophy of the uh, Green Bay Packers was to minimize your mistakes, to set up your game plan, uh, 12 or 15 rushing plays, uh, 6 8 passing plays, and to maintain a ball possession football. It's, the game is actually won or lost in the trenches. At that line of scrimmage, if you can maintain that line of scrimmage, and make that four and five and six yards every time you rush the football. And rush the football about 65% of the time, the other 35 passing. We, again, were the uh, hard-nosed uh, type team that we only had uh, 12 or 15 plays, and when we'd line up in a certain formation, they knew we would only do this, this, or that, and, uh, and we defied people to stop us. Number 31, a Hall of Famer in every respect. Okay, let's pick up the finals of the tennis. Jim Taylor and Joe Theismann. Theismann leads five games to four. It's a one-set competition. You must win by two points, or you go into a nine-point tiebreaker, and there is no add. Love one. Jim Taylor. Theismann has the edge in age, of course. Taylor is a determined athlete. Second service. Eyes from the nearest two, of course. That is 1 1. Taylor puts it over the net. Not all that warm, but you can see the strain has really taken its toll on Taylor. That makes it 2-1. Intense concentration in the face of Jim Taylor. He's been so consistent. And so too is Theismann. 3-1. Double match point coming up. Second service. puts it away. Joe Theismann is the winner in the tennis competition. He wins at 6-4 over Jim Taylor.
So Theismann gets the 10 points that goes with his victory here in the tennis competition. A couple of disappointments. Dwight Stones was favored to win this, and Wayne Grimditch, the defending Superstars champion, was fifth. Okay, those are the results. Theismann the winner, followed by Jim Taylor, John Havlicek, Dwight Stones, and Wayne Grimditch. Coming up, the swimming competition. Stay with us.